Hi friends, I'm excited to share my new layout for the Shimmers Paints Design Team. I am making a beautiful fall layout with the October color kits. And I love the colors in the kits this month. And so I tried, I think I used all of them on this layout. So I started with the Spritz Bamboo Leaf. So that's the lighter green color and I just sprayed it on the background. And I am using Foundations Mixed Media White Cardstock, so that's why it's holding the color so well. And then I did uh, splatter on some Vibes Wild Spruce Chase. So that is that darker green color that you see me adding. And here I just added it and then I moved my paper around so that it kind of looked organic. I didn't want it to look too neat or too perfect, so it's just sprayed on and then sprinkled on and then <laughs> moved my paper around so that's it's a pretty simple technique and I did go with a paper towel and just kind of dry up where I had sprayed a lot of liquid uh, just to make sure it dried a little faster really I was being impatient I wanted it to dry faster so <laughs> that's why I did that and then here I am adding texture paste through a, a stencil from scrapbook.com so this is it's just a little squares and uh, I actually won that stencil in a set from scrapbook.com on something on Instagram a while back. So I love that stencil. And then here what I'm doing is I am fussy cutting out some pumpkins and leaves and things from the patterned papers in the October color uh, paper kits that go along with the same colors. So I did that off camera. I cut out a bunch of things. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and put the stencil back down and I am using the Shimmers Fire and Brimstone. So it is a beautiful orangish, reddish, beautiful color. <laughs> it's very shiny, like I love everything about it. So it's super shiny and um, lots, of, lots of sparkle and kind of almost like a burnt orange. So that is that's a beautiful color. I love that color for fall, for fall. and in general. Uh, if you saw my video that I posted yesterday, I posted a Longhorn, uh, Texas Longhorn uh, photo, so I need to probably use this color on another layout for that, So because it's perfect, burnt orange. So I did, you see me there with an ink dauber. I started with a brush and then decided to do an ink dauber just because it was a little bit faster. So I just put a little bit of the ink on my glass mat and then um, blotted it up with the ink dauber and then put it over the stencil. So, and then when I was finished, I did kind of smudge some on in places cause I didn't, you know, I like the color. I don't like it to be like super uniform and, and uh, perfect. So I did smudge some color on and then I splattered on some Inklings Penny for Your Thoughts. That's a copper color. And then I also splattered on the Color Splash Back in the Saddle, which is a beautiful, uh, like a rustic gold color. So those five colors at the top of that piece of paper, I'm using that piece of white paper to back my photos, but those colors that you see right there on the screen now, those are the five colors in the October color kits. So I had just put them on there for myself to be able to see what the colors looked like to make sure I matched everything. And that was really easy to do when you're using the paper that comes with the color kits. So here I am layering up my photos. So these photos are from Thanksgiving last year. I have scrapbooked a few of those photos from Thanksgiving last year and then uh, had some, some more left and wanted to add those to another layout. And I thought the pumpkins and all these colors were perfect for that. Love this plaid paper that I'm cutting right now. That's probably my favorite paper in the, in the in the paper kits this month because I just love the colors on it. I don't know, something about it. So I did, I cut like a rectangle and then tore the, tore the top and the bottom because I wanted it to look, you know, rustic. So, and then I did distress the edges of that a little bit before I layered my photos on. And that layer of paper, I glue straight to the background and then my photos here that are um, backed on some pattern paper, I went ahead and added craft foam too. So that's what I'm doing right now. So those will be po popped up just a little bit from the background. And then that also allows me as I go and start tucking in 
pumpkins and leaves and things, it gives me some space behind the photos to tuck little things into. So here I am taking one of the pumpkins that I fussy cut and popped that up on even a thicker craft foam and then adhered that down in that bottom right corner. And then I have another, and I'm gonna add some things to it, some leaves and some little things. And then I have another larger pumpkin that's gonna go in the left corner. And those are from two of the different pattern papers that I fussy cut out. And then all the leaves I fussy cut as well. And then the ephemera this month for the first time comes instead of like on a sheet that you cut out yourself, it's already cut for you and it's really nice, thick quality uh, cardstock ephemera, which is really cool. So I have some of that sitting off to the left on the screen there. But I do uh, end up taking that because there are some white edges on those. And so I do end up trimming a lot of the white edges off just because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> And I like to spend a whole lot of time making layouts. No, really, it's because I don't I don't love how the white looks on my layouts. So sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. So I went ahead and trimmed off the white edges. It doesn't take but a second to do that. And then popped that up on craft foam, that little pumpkin there. And I love all of the different types of leaves and like the little sprigs of leaves and things because I love how it kind of looks like it's climbing up the page. I love all those things. And there was lots of beautiful ephemera. I have plenty, tons of ephemera left to be able to do on other lay use on other layouts. So I only used a couple little things on here. Some pumpkins and then like an orange slice. Like it looks like it's sliced through the middle of an orange. I'm going to be using that as well. So I'm trimming off the white here. I'm gonna pop that up so that's kind of like the main focal point in that top left and you can kind of see like I've triangulated my main elements around my photo so the bottom left bottom right and then top kind of left of the photo so it kind of makes a triangle around the photo which draws your eyes into the center uh, so my photos are the, are the focal point which is really good And sometimes I want my photos to be the focal point and sometimes I want all of the beautiful things on the paper to be the focal point. So I have had some people tell me, you've got you so much on there, I, the photos get lost sometimes, but that's okay with me because I still see the photos and a lot, all the things around them and all of the beautiful stuff is what brings me joy in the creating process and I'm totally, I'm totally good with it. So it doesn't bother me one bit, but in this particular layout, I do think the photos stand out front and center is good so I am building that cluster up there and adding some more and I do just kind of play with it until it looks right I like uh, I did bend up all of the leaves and all the petals I do like it to look very layered so when you're looking at my layouts usually or I even myself like when I go back and look at a layout I've made a few months ago like I noticed different things that I did uh, each time I look at it so I kind of like all the little hidden gems finish off that top cluster I do add most of the embellishments here are pumpkins and leaves there are a couple of little beautiful flowers in the ephemera, in the ephemera, ephemera set. And so like this flower right here that I'm gonna trim all of the sides off of real quick. And I'll do most of that off camera. I do add a couple of little flowers. So, but most of it, it's not a super florally layout. I'm gonna tuck that in up there. I'm just adding a little bit of craft foam to it is what I'm doing right now. And then the title is Thankful, of course, and that is a piece from Bramble Fox. So, and I, it either came broken or I broke it. I don't know <laughs> how that happened, but it broke into like three pieces, but it's totally fine because when you glue it down, you can't even tell. I've done that to lots of my, lots of my things. 
lots of my uh, acrylic pieces, but when you glue them, it is perfect, so no worries. And then I did a, a, a mirrored acrylic piece, also from Bramble Fox, down below the photo. It's kind of hard to see because it is mirrored. Uh, it says 2022, so that just has the year that these photos are from. And then here now what I've done is I've pulled out my box from Buttons Galore and I'm gonna add a bunch of little shiny bits and pieces, sequiny things. And I add some half pearls and some crystals and some blings. I try to mix up, like in that box I have a bunch of different types of embellishments, little teeny tiny ones. I do love how they look mixed together. So I don't use all half pearls or all crystals. I try to vary in little clusters around each little section that I add them. I try to use different types of embellishments just because it's like jewelry, you know? You don't want all of your jewelry to look exactly the same. So I kind of want all of it to, to look different ways and catch the light differently. And then here I'm using pops of color um, I'm using a green and then a mustard yellow and then also kind of like a, a light orange. It's almost like a corally orange. And I'm gonna be using that to add the veining right here of the pumpkins or the lines on the pumpkins. I don't really know what they're called, but I am adding the lines. And I love how that looks in the final photos and on the final layout because it gives it texture to those pieces that are flat that I cut out. And there are some photos, some still photos and close-ups, so you can see the layout, and I hope you enjoyed the process, and I'll see you in the next one.